What's going on, perros? Welcome back to the channel, Listo Pales Madre. I know we haven't posted a lot, but we've been trying to get back in the grind. But today, I have the 2024, and as y'all can see, I am trying to install a system in it. So, I just ran the wire. I don't know if y'all can see it. There's a zero gauge right here. It's a 2024 Duramax 6.6 .6 liter. Uh, so... I seen a video online, so I just figured I'd give it a shot because I have some scars that have just been sitting up there. I mean, it's not it's not nothing major of a system, you know what I mean? But we we need some thump in these 2024s. They they're basing them sucks. I'm not even gonna lie. Pero where's that flashlight? Let me get that flashlight real quick, perros. Pa que vean, cochones, check it out. I was able to find the boot on the right side, on the passenger side. And it's not a clean job, it's just, I just threw it in there just so I could find the wire. But we're going to clean this up, but um, usually on the older models we poke a hole through it, but on this one I'm, I don't really want to mess with it too much since it's a 2024. But what I am going to do is por arriba, I'm going to hide this wire through the top and I'll be able to close this boot again. But through the top it might be a little bit open, but not so much, you know what I mean? But I do have zero gauge, I didn't have nothing smaller, I don't have a big ass system, but... I mean, zero gauge is all I had, as y'all can see right here. So, uh, I mean, that's what we're going to put in for it for now. If I have to change it on later on, if I don't like this right here, if I feel like it's too big, then we'll change it out. But as y'all can see, perros, there's the boot right there. All we did was lift it up from the bottom and then ran our wire to the front right now. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling that wire out. But I wanted to just start recording so we could start posting again on the videos. We haven't been posting lately because... I mean, the weather over here sucks and all that, and we I've been working, you know, Saturdays and six days a week at, at work, so I just wanted to make another video for y'all, but like I said, this is the 2024 GMC Duramax that we're going to be installing the system, and I do want y'all to know, Cochones, that this is my first install on a 2024 or any newer, newer vehicle like this, so this is my first install on a 2024 Duramax so just want to let y'all know that we're all in the learning process right now big dog so if you are doing a system this is my first time doing it too so hopefully we figure it out and it all goes good one other thing big dogs that i forgot to mention well first of all the i like the way the zero gauge fit it fit perfect in here so we just might leave that alone we might not have to change it but as you can see it's not hooked up we are missing the pack sni 35 which i already have it ordered so for now we're gonna leave this disconnected i just have black tape i'm gonna I'm going to secure it here better. I'm just trying to run my wire as for now till I get all the parts that I need. But the zero gauge seemed to fit perfect. Front and back locked in. So I think we're just going to leave that zero gauge. And uh, we'll go on to the next part, big dogs. So here's a passenger seat panel, big dogs. Here's one. And this one's you just pull them up. And right here, we're just going to pull this off to the side, big dogs. So let's get to it. Ahora si, perros. I ran my power wire. Made sure everything fit. And as you can see, that zero gauge is big enough. Fits all through the bottom of this. Show you all that back in a minute. I, I was able to squeeze that boot, close it up as much as I could. I didn't want to rip that boot, so that's gonna stay right there. I'm gonna put the panel back. Ran the wire through the, the ran the wire through the bottom. So as you can see it right there, it goes underneath. And under here also, it goes underneath this panel. And on this side, I mean it has a little bracket. So I was able to, it was hard, but. I was able to put it in through that little bracket. The bracket is about from here to here. So I was able to put it in, snake it through. And then I lifted up the carpet and I ran it in through over here. So I went under the carpet. After I went under that little that little bracket, went under the carpet, came back out over here. And as you can see, I put it through the back of the carpet as well back here. So now I just made sure I had enough, enough wire before I cut it. So that's good for that. Now we just got to run the remote wire. And perros on mine. It's a little different. I heard that it's the ones that are twisted right here. See how the, these are the only ones that are twisted. So I'm guessing this is where we're going to get our pack from, which is the for the RCAs. So whenever the RCAs get here, I'll be able to finish this video and stuff. But I'll, I'm going to wait till that pack gets, on, gets here so I can install it. That way I can upload the whole video. I don't want to put two parts. That way everybody can see the whole video at once. But more than likely it's going to be these two because they're twisted so whenever that gets here we'll install that and we'll retake off these panels again and we'll show we'll we'll keep this video going
Most important thing, big dogs. Ah, now this is dirty as hell, huh? Need to clean this engine bay. But most importantly, perros, make sure y'all clean, uh, clean off. Make sure y'all disconnect y'all's battery if you're not gonna do any of the wiring work. Me, I was just gonna put the wire in so that pack comes in. So, uh, I just have the wire right there. I didn't disconnect nothing. So, just make sure y'all disconnect y'all's battery before y'all do anything, big dogs. And me, big dogs, even though I'm not touching the battery over there, nothing, it's not connected. I'm still gonna tip off this side until we get the amplifier and all that hooked up in here. So, just a reminder, I like to tape my shit off. That way it doesn't have no contact with nothing, big dogs. So far, so good, big dogs. No codes, no nothing, big dog. Everything's functioning. So, so far, so good. All right, so now we're back, big dogs. We got our SNI 35 right here. On mine is a 2024 dog, and as you can see, my cross braided one is black and blue and white dog. On some of them, it's yellow and black and yellow. So you're just gonna have to figure yours out, big dogs. All right, big dogs, it's the next day. Uh, hooked this up last night. Ran the wires, ran my ground, just to make sure everything worked, it functioned. But right here, don't make the make same mistake I did. Oh, damn, that's not even in there pretty good. I'm gonna have to redo that one right there. But last night, I, uh, my dumbass connected the two whites and the two grays together instead of the two negatives and the two positives. So I, I wasn't getting no sound, so I struggled with that for a little bit. So you watch out when y'all do that. Make sure y'all connect the two grounds and the two positives. These ones don't need to be connected. Uh, like I said, it was the blue, blue and black, and the white, they're twisted up. So uh, that's where I was able to get my, my, uh, my voice from, from the speaker. And up here... This is temporary, guys. I don't like this. I like using that one that has the fuse. Uh, but, except this one, these fuses have the three prongs in it. It's not the two prongs. And what I mean by that fuse that I'm talking about, uh, this is what I'm talking about right here. I usually always put one of these in right here. But, since this one's a three prong, I couldn't do it. But, that'll work for now. Until I go buy one here in a bit. Uh, so, make sure y'all do that. I, would, I mean... There's not really an issue doing it like that, but I just rather have it connected like that. And I connected it to the USB one, which is this top one right here. And the reason I figured out why my wires aren't yellow and black and yellow was because I, mine doesn't have the Bose system. My, this is a SLE, so it doesn't it doesn't come with the Bose system. So that was another thing. And also my ground, big dogs. My, I'm not powering a big system as you can see this is ridiculous for what I have right now too also Oh, and this this whole mess right here is just set up just so I wanted to test to make sure my speaker and everything was working But this right here is ridiculous dog. I didn't need this much power wire, but For what I'm pushing, but it's all right and for my negative I grabbed it from here dog All I did was grab the grinder and uh, I went all the way to bare metal which underneath I couldn't bare metal this part right here, but for what I'm pushing, it picks up the ground good. It's not like I'm pushing anything major, so, I mean, this was a perfect little spot where I was able to get my ground, and it turned on, and it worked, and everything. I just got to clean up this wire mess, and of course, I got to finish running these wires, but I just wanted to show y'all everything, uh, how I connected everything over here. So, we're about to, I'm going to redo this right here, because I don't like that wire sticking out like that. I mean, it's in there pretty good, but still, I don't like that that wire is sticking out like that. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to put this box in here, hide it up in here, put our panel back. But, like I said, I haven't run my wire, so I'm going to have to re run my remote wire and my RCAs, which I didn't run. So, I just ran them outside through the door yesterday, tested everything, and everything was functioning. So, I like to uh, test everything before I put before I even start running wires. The only main wire I like to run always is my main power wire. But like my RCAs and my remote and anything else, I like to just freehand through the outside first, just um, test it all before I even before I even go completely with the full process for it. Just in case if my speaker don't work or something, then it's just you know it just gives me an idea of what's functioning and what's not right away before I connect everything, put all my panels together. But like I said, let me go pop the hood for you guys so you guys can see where. What's up, buddy? So y'all can see where I um, grab my uh, my power wire. Pop this up real quick. Uh, take.
take off this cover. And as y'all can see right there, I just taped it right there because I had them, uh, I had them shrink wraps, bro, but they just, I don't know, they just for some reason they just weren't, weren't shrink wrapping to the tight fit as I wanted. So, but as y'all can see, this thing is going nowhere, dog, and it just sits in there perfect. And that's that this is zero gauge, dog. This fit in there pretty good. So that's where I grabbed that. And like I said, everything's functioning right. Everything's functioning correctly. Ground, power up, everything. So let's get to it, big dogs. So just like that, guys, as you can see, I'm just going to shove it in right here. And I'll be able to put my kick panel back on. I'm about to run my RCA. But that's pretty much how it's going to sit right there, big guys. Just like that. It's going to be hidden away. And uh, shouldn't be in the way of nothing or be bothered from here on out. So we'll check it out. So there we go, fellas. Put all our panels back. Put our other panel. Everything was fine right here. Nothing rubbed. Put this back all together. This panel, don't forget to put this panel on right here too. And when you put it on, it's got those little, like the little, um, I don't know, just to where it grabs on to, big dog. I don't know what the hell it's called, but you grab it onto there. That way it, it, it keeps it nice and snug. It grabs onto these ones. So make sure y'all put that on correctly. And then we come back here. We ran out our, all our wire and all my excess. I ran it through here, ran it through here under the carpet. And as you can see, that's where I grabbed my ground. And uh, I'm just gonna, ha I guess these wires are just gonna have to stay like this. You know, it's not, they're not really in the way. I need to tape this one up with these, but but that's pretty much it, big dogs. Uh, we'll turn it on just so we y'all can uh, go ahead and see that it's functioning correctly. And I mean, I don't think I'll be able to hear it on the sound on the phone, anyways, but we'll give it a shot for you guys. Well, look what I found hidden, guys. Probably gonna go install this here in a bit. Uh, these things work really good. I think this one's for the scar. I had it put up right there, so it looks like it's the scar one. So I think we're gonna connect this. These things work real good. I have one in my in my uh, single cab, and I never really used these. I was just had the the base already hooked up to where I like it. But uh, these things have been working pretty good, big dogs. But these things actually work pretty good, big dog, especially with the with the Spanish music. Turn it up and turn it down, and these things work pretty good, big dog. So we're gonna install this too. And there you have it, fellas. I didn't want to play it too much, get copyrighted like all my other videos. But uh, I put a couple screws in these. That way it's just snug. I didn't I didn't drill it all the way to the metal. It just grabbed onto the carpet. I mean, should be okay. Um, hey, dogs. That's it. If y'all if y'all have any more questions or whatever, just go ahead and leave a comment. Whether it's on Duramaxes, Chevys, GMCs, Avalanches, wheel lights, stereos, wiring, just whatever it is, big dogs. If I can help, uh, I'll be able to help. Some a little bit of mechanic uh, here and there. I mean, I I've done transmissions on uh, 04 Chevys, as in uh, taking them down and putting them back up. The motors also taking them out. But if y'all have any questions, comments, whatever y'all. Just go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, wheel lights also, wheel lights. Uh, just whatever we can do, big dogs. Just let me know, big dogs. Thanks for watching, homies. Listo pa' los madres. All the time, hear me?